to all our relations, blessed be and welcome here to the ancestors, guides, and angels. We call you into this space of healing. And we invite our own higher powers to join us here and the energies of the higher self to step into this healing space. So take a few breaths and a few moments to address your own guidance system, your guides, angels, and beings of light that you wish to have with you. And we'll just do some smudging and prayers for the collective energy at this time. This exercise, this session will be a bit of a session to work with the cells and we'll do some tapping and affirmations together. And as we begin, you can start with your deep cleansing breaths and visualization of clearing your own space, clearing your own body, mind, and spirit, as we call in the plant medicines and the spirit of the eagle energy to uplift our spirits, clear our minds, and bring us into connection to Father Sky, to Great Spirit, and the Cosmic Mother, Mother Earth. Take a deep inhale and a big sigh out. <sighs> and we'll go through our 12 breath cycles, so 11 more. <sighs> one for each symbol of the zodiac. One for all of the elements. <sighs> uniting upper worlds and lower worlds, clearing all that is in between. And again, if you ever get lightheaded, you can take a circular breath out instead of a ha breath. <sighs> Harmonizing the elements of the body. For these last couple of breaths, you can bring your hands in front of the heart and start to rub them together. <sighs> Gathering electrical energy in the hands. <sighs> One more ha breath out. <sighs> and then switching to slow, deep belly breaths as you separate the hands slightly from each other. And just feel that bit of warmth or magnetic pull in the hands. And you're going to inhale the arms up and out above head and create little sort of claws with the hands, loosening the fingertips and starting to make an energetic connection with the top of the head. You can bring the fingertips just a few inches above the crown and pineal gland. And as you lower the hands, maybe you feel a bit of magnetism to one area of the head. And that's where you can begin your light tapping. So I personally like to sequence my fingers all separately tapping through. And then at some point I switch to sort of holding the fingers in a bit of a beak like thing and then tap along the tops of the, of the scalp. And you can even pull the energies open of the crown chakra. And you're just tapping through and envisioning every point along the skull, along the scalp being activated with light. You can feel or envision any color of energy that calls to you. I like to work with a sort of lightning-y blue or a silver color. And you wanna go through uh, all along the top of the head and just follow your intuition for when to start to sequence down along the third eye. We often hold tension or stress along the forehead and temples. So to tap along this space and envision that electrical blue energy, cosmic blue energy, transmuting, alchemizing stress into useful energy. Activating the third eye sight. And I tend to go again from the third eye along the governing line, along the top of the head at the center, and then back and down the skull, 
and into the neck and around from the neck back to the temples. And then when you finished with connecting to the forehead and third eye, I like to do a little bit of tapping right along the eyes, closing the eyes, right along the eyes and the bridge of the nose and the sinuses and the nose. And then you just slowly move through the cheeks and the cheekbones along the sides of the jaw. Sometimes I find there's a lot of tension in my jaw. So I try to open the jaw wide while I tap along the jaw and get some joy in there. And often the colors or the visualization or feeling will start to change. And I usually feel more green, blue, sort of like an ocean wave energy when I get to the jaw and the throat. And often it actually sort of follows the colors of the chakras. It's really up to you what you want to visualize. And as we get through into sort of getting into a flow with the tapping, I'll, I'll sort of stop guiding it shortly. And the aim is to just get all through the body. You'll go through your shoulders and your collarbones, really connecting to the collarbones is nice to activate the throat and heart chakra and along your chest. And the sternum is a really good place to clear the heart chakra you'll go through your whole body and I'll, I'll bring in some more prompts when we get to the legs and the lower body. You really want to keep moving with your breath and now bring your focus to all of those things you are grateful for. We talked about this this morning. You can even be speaking them in your mind or if you feel called to say something aloud, I am grateful for my body. I am grateful for the ability to heal myself, whatever calls to you. And just roll it through your mind's eye or with your voice as you breathe deeply and continue your sequence of energetic connection and tapping through all those ley lines or meridian lines and uh, marma points or pressure points, acupuncture points that are all along the body, all throughout the body. Letting this be a way of embodying and integrating the higher self vibrations that we have been calling in, as well as a way to keep the higher self in the body. Deep breaths of gratitude. It can also be really nice to tap along the hands and the knuckles and give both hands a little bit of energy because they're doing the work. Thank them for the work that they're doing. And the wrists and the elbows as well, the arms as our tools of extension from our bodies, thanking them for their ability to connect and bring healing and, and bring art and creation to the world, learning and manifestations. Thanking the elements that you have in your body, especially as you get through the arms and start to focus more on the thoracic core on the heart to the chest on the solar plexus and the belly the organs really trust that as you activate these energies into the hands you can affect change in your body and the more you focus on the vibrations of information on healing i am healthy i am well i am grateful to be healthy i am grateful to be well the more these vibrations get into every cell and this light tapping is a, a good way to just remind the cells to kind of wake up to the vibration you're setting in and do your best to tap along your lower spine and how wherever you can reach along your back just make some contact there I am grateful, I am healthy, I am well. I am grateful for all that I am. I am grateful for this body. I am grateful for my mind. I am grateful for my soul. And then make your way to your legs and knees. And feel free to pause along any part of the body, even if I've talked ahead of you. 
you can keep focusing on the organs if you need to or keep focusing on your back. But as we move to the legs and knees, I just invite you as you get down to that space to really focus on grounded stability and balance. I am grounded, I am stable, I am balanced, and I am connected to Mother Earth. As in this connection to Mother Earth, as we, we remember that our bodies are also extensions of the earth, healing and expressing her art forms into the world. We are extensions of the body of the earth. And when we give ourselves love, self-care and nourishment, we resonate that energy of self-care and nourishment deep down into the core of Mother Earth. And Mother Earth sends that vibration of peace and healing back up into your body. And as that energy rises, whenever you feel to come into stillness, you can bring your hands on either side of your legs and just plant them down to face the palms down to the ground, imagining that you're sitting on the ground on the earth and imagining that wherever you are, that the centers of the hands with a spiral create a spiraling root out of the centers of the hands. And these spiraling roots come from the centers of the hands and the fingertips. And they start to flow down into the earth beneath you from your hips, your legs, your sacrum, your knees, your feet. And just grow those roots and focus on, I am grateful for Mother Earth. I am grateful for Mother Earth. I am grateful for Mother Earth. Thank you, Mother Earth, for this life. Thank you, Mother Earth, for this life. Thank you, Mother Earth, for this life. I am grateful for Mother Earth. I am grateful for Mother Earth. I am grateful for this body. I am grateful for this body. I am grateful for this body. Thank you for this body, Mother Earth. Thank you for this body, Mother Earth. Thank you for this body, Mother Earth. Thank you for this body. And take a few breaths with that energy of connection to the earth. And with your next inhale, lift your arms up to your sides, the palms face up to the sky. And then as you take a, your next few breaths, imagine light filling your arms and filling your hands. And this light is compassion, gratitude, and unconditional love rising up from Mother Earth. And I invite you to just embrace yourself with this love, crossing your arms over your heart and just hugging yourself, bowing your head a little bit, honoring your body for doing the work that it is doing at this time, honoring your spirit for answering the call of your soul at this time. Embracing yourself with that gratitude, coming back to you, flowing back to you for your efforts from Mother Earth. <sighs> and with your next inhale, open your arms out to bring the palms again to face each other. And we're going to work to create a little seed, a, an orb, a sphere, and you can feel it in your hands or you can really focus on visualization. And I invite you to work with the breath of the wind which is an inhale through the nose, envisioning silvery white, blue light. And as you exhale, you breathe out through the mouth like a whistling wind through a forest or through the city. Just a slight whistle and envision that that air, that energy of prana flows out from you and starts to create this little 
ball of light or this seed of consciousness. And I want you to feel and think of everything you feel grateful for, everything and everyone you are thankful for, and fill this little seed of consciousness, pressurize all that gratitude into this seed, and we will breathe that gratitude into this seed together. And then start to bring your hands a little closer together and just close that seed into your hands. Press it into a little seed and feel all of your gratitude pouring in from your heart. I am gratitude. I am thankful. I am grateful. I am gratitude. I am thankful. I am grateful. I am gratitude. I am thankful. I am grateful. Thank you for this blessing. Thank you for all the blessings in my life. And whenever you feel ready, you can sit with that blessing for a few breaths or for a minute or so. And when you feel ready, you're going to plant it into the earth in front of you. And to complete this ritual, when you are finished with this lesson, at some point in your next day or so, may go outside and make a connection to the earth and feed this seed of light with love as you've planted it into the earth. And when you go to connect to this energy in nature, it will respond to you even more quickly with manifestations of returning your gratitude back to you. We are one with the earth, we are one with our mother, we are one with the animals and one with each other, oh, we are here, oh, oh, oh. we are oh, hey, oh, oh. We are one with the earth, we are one with our mother, we are one with the animals and one with each other. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, 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 hey, oh, oh. We are one with the earth, we are one with our mother, we are one with the animals and one with each other. Oh, 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 we are one with the earth. We are one with our mother. We are one with the animals and one with each other. Oh, we, oh, we, oh, oh, oh. We oh hey ah ho ah ho mandakuyas to all our relations. Blessed be our Mother Earth. 
Gratitude to Unshimaka Pilamaya, Wakan Tonkashala, Sacred One Creator. Gratitude for this balance in this breath of life. Gratitude for each moment. We thank you to all our relations. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all beings be infinitely happy and free. Namaste. Sat Nam.